welcome to another episode of Gomology, fun with outerwear. Today's brand is Shackleton, named after famous British Antarctic explorer Ernst Shackleton, um, a proper true British hero if there ever was one, so if you were looking for a heroic character to name your brand after, Ernst Shackleton is a good choice. Now, my voice is a bit croaky today, but I'm so excited about what's in the box that I wanted to get going. I, I do like to do an unboxing and give you my first impressions of stuff. I'm not a newcomer to the brand Shackleton. I have one of their early sweaters from, well, about seven, six, seven years ago. Very nice. I also have this Shackleton Endurance jacket from a few years back. Uh, very much my go-to jacket on a cold winter morning when I'm just nipping out for half an hour with the dogs. It has uh, the pockets, it has the down filling, probably the best hood I have. Uh, when you put that up over your head and tuck it in, there's nothing that goes past it. Uh, incidentally, not real fur, and also the down is very much righteously sourced. And uh, yeah, no problems at all, love it, great jacket. Today's jacket, what is that? Well. Shackleton do a lot of Antarctic expedition work, so their jackets are actually expedition grade. I mean, they use them themselves, going to the South Pole. And uh, the new Harkon Tactical Parka, very much in the same vein. Excellent hood, all the pockets, bells and whistles, and also an adaptive layering system, which we're going to have a look at. So, without further ado, I'll just uh, pick up the box and get unpacking, okay? Trusty box cutter, trusty box. Uh, let's open it up and see what's in it. Oh, and it's straight for the juggler here. Now, I do like a parka that is visible. And the Harkon is available in black, blue and orange so why not go for the orange now as it sits now feels substantial it has similar actually synthetic fur as the endurance personally i wouldn't have minded real fur as long as it's ethically sourced uh, but it's okay to uh, make the effort at least no one's going to complain about it now i know the down filling in this is also very righteously sourced, no live animals hurt, so a portion of it is uh, recycled and it's all above board. Let's just move this out of the way. Take a, take a moment to enjoy the inside of the box, totally playing off the Ernst Shackleton heritage and their Antarctic challenges. Why not? Now, let's pick this off up off the floor. Maybe not the optimal position to hold it in now, but I can tell already that this is a synthetic outer, but it's very soft, it feels very technical. I know it is made of uh, recycled uh, polyesters, nylons, etc. Mention all that in the in the summary later. Uh, there's quite a lot of um, references to blue sign and whatever. So it is as ethically made as you can using non-natural fibres. So it's got the natural down and so forth. Now it's actually quite <laughs> heavy to hold like this. Um, I can see already that it's got very technical pockets. So we've got the hand warmer pockets here, and we've got the big, big bellows pockets here, perfect for sticking your mittens in, and I believe also it's got hand warmer entries from the side. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to remove the endurance, stick it on the dummy, and it will be a bit easier to show and tell. Okay, just a sec. So there we are. Ready to continue. Up on the dummy here now, and we can see that it's a uh, fair length, but not too long. It's got the, the pockets here, pockets there. 
it's got a fastener here if you've got something that can clip on there. Uh, the two big bellows pockets, a uh, decent pocket on the arm, which would uh, take your wallet or your phone or whatever. And big rubber Shackleton logo. It also has airing under the arms, in case it gets a bit warm in there, which it quite likely will. Quite a bit of Velcro, looks to be a substantial type, which lets you adjust and uh, close pockets firmly. There's also uh, tightening for the waist and the hand warmer pockets. Now inside here we've got Oh, this is a lovely elasticated cuff to ensure snow and wind doesn't blow up. And we're also getting a hint of the liner here. Yes, you remember I said adaptive layering system. So it's got the provision for liners, much like 10C in one of my other videos, where I didn't have the liner there. Now, this hood looks very good, as it was on the Endurance. It's got uh, the removable fur, so you can take it off if you don't need it on. It's also got some wires to help you shape it, which is actually a very clever idea, and you see it a lot on Norwegian uh, anoraks for skiing. The ability to shape the hood more to stop the wind coming in. Hoods are so overlooked in outerwear, they're often just, yep, yeah, stick a hood on it, but it's too big, too small, it doesn't have any function. Most of the time it's just hanging on the back as a cool feature. It's a shame, because a good hood can be very handy. Uh, so we've got that. I love the big pull on the zipper. If you're cold, you've still got your mittens on, having something to grab onto there is excellent. Now remember, this isn't just for wandering around the city saying, whoa, -ho, I'm wearing my expedition parka. This is actual cold weather gear. So things like this have been thought about. And it gives us another pocket in here. Notice that we have a sturdy zip all up the front and also the Velcro closing to ensure it's windproof. One thing I noticed and I like here is the fact that it's a two-way zip. There's not a two-way zip on the Endurance and I miss it quite frequently now that I think of it. But if you have a two-way zip, you can zip it up from the bottom. Jackets that have been well thought out often have that. Um, the English Utopia, Orkin, or the Serac T2, two-way zips. So, I mentioned the liner, so let's go inner stage. Now, the liner has been zipped in. It's actually for sale separately. There, I think, um, I think the Harkon comes with an armless uh, liner. This is the Romer. Um, liner. If it had been called a runner, it would actually have meant a uh, shambolic house falling down in Norwegian. As it is, the Hakon Parker, or Hakon as we'd say in Norwegian, is named after Norwegian kings, and our current crown, crown prince is called Hakon. So, um, kind of Norwegian inspired, I think. There, I have now zipped out the liner, and I can pull it out of the arms. So let's go that way. What we then find is a down liner, or really a down jacket. Um, other style that is quite popular these days with the narrow channels and so forth. It can be worn standalone if you're not zipping it into the, the tactical parka. And uh, let's see. It looks like that. Um, two chest pockets. Hand pockets, Shackleton logo. Um, as a standalone item, it's quite basic. Uh, but as part of the adaptive layering system, it's pretty elegant because then you can mix and match and make the jacket into what you need so it suits the requirements of the day or the season, if you like. Because if you take this out, There is still a down lining in the hardcore. So you've got one down lining, two down linings, 
and it should be massively warm. So, another pocket inside. Jackets do need pockets. Why skimp on the pockets? These things matter. And more of a poacher's pocket on this side. Handy for just putting things in. And uh, an Ernest Shackleton quote on the pocket. I believe it is our nature to explore, to reach out into the unknown. That's some inspiring words. And yes, another pocket up there. And, oh, was it a pocket or is it the... Yeah, that's a pocket, but we've also got the underarm airing. There's quite a few zips on this jacket, isn't there? So um, there you have it. You're probably wondering, what's it look like on? OK, I'll try the liner first. So there we go. This is the Ronne, or Ronne liner. Pleasant pockets. It's not not a jacket I would have bought as a standalone jacket, um, but now that I have it, it does kind of make sense and it could be used, say, under a duffel coat, tweed coat. <coughs> having, a, having a downfield liner isn't, uh, isn't a daft idea, but you're wondering, OK, what does the park on, tactical parker look like on? Well, I'm curious as well. Hang on. And this is what the Harkon parker looks like on. Let me uh, make a slight adjustment and put the hood on. Feels nice and warm, certainly does. Um, I'm going to take some, uh, take some good photos and detail shots and include them in the video. And uh, I'll put some uh, Parker shots on the Instagram as soon as I can. So there you have it. It's the uh, Parkon Tactical Parker with the runner liner from uh, Shackleton in the UK. Now let me just check something before I switch off the recording. I think this should also be made in the UK. Uh, let's see if I can find anything about it. No. Designed in London, made in Romania. The Endurance was actually made in the UK. So, uh, okay, let me know what you think and uh, I'll get some more details for you then. Until next time, bye bye.